I take these eye vitamins every day. Vitamins for the eye. Welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome. Today, let's talk about eye vitamins. So if you clicked on this video and if you're not familiar with Enmiopia because you wanted to know about eye vitamins, I will tell you everything you want to know about vitamins for the eye. As a little bit of background, my name is Jake Steiner. I used to have minus five Dopta high myopia. I was wearing thick, big glasses. Uh, I reversed all my myopia. I have 20-20 eyesight now. Thanks to these vitamins. Actually, not at all thanks to these vitamins. And also not thanks to LASIK or Bates Method or eye exercise or any of that stuff. If you're curious about how I reversed all my myopia, links below. Eye vitamins though is the first thing. One of the things that really bothers me, I get hundreds of emails a day and there's at least a few of them that ask about eye vitamins. And if you don't understand what causes myopia, which is really the first question you should ask, it makes sense how one might think possibly on the surface that eye vitamins could make sense, right? Because we're surrounded by poor diet, we're surrounded by deficiencies, and we're surrounded by a lot of advertising for vitamin pills. I myself used to be all about not vitamin pills. Um, my sister actually had a vitamin company for a while, and I learned a lot about the inside schemes that are going on there. Pro tip, there's nobody verifying that what is supposed to be in those pills, what they say is in those pills is actually in them depending on where you live, countries, independently, websites might check it, but there's no guarantee that you're, that you're getting what it says on the label on these pills in the first place. So I was never a fan of eye vitamins. Um, I did get into doing blood tests for other health reasons in the past, and at some point I did a couple of vitamin and mineral panels, and I was highly deficient in some vitamins. Not that anybody cares, but my B vitamins were like non-existently low. So that kind of changed my mind about some vitamins and especially when it comes to actually testing first, right? Instead of just buying whatever the shiny person on the internet says about vitamins, actually making sure that there's a reason that you need these things in the first place. And that takes me to myopia and improving eyesight and eye vitamins. Causality, I think, is the best way to know if you're doing something to actually address a problem, right? Like if there's no, if you don't understand the cause, then whatever you're trying to use as the fix is a total shot in the dark. And that's how these companies get your money because they're just like, hey, just eat this pill, it's good for you, right? They have no, they claim no further responsibility and, and realistically, you have to dig a little bit further because I'm not going to get into myopia causes altogether in this video. Links below. Myopia is not caused by a vitamin deficiency. It's not caused by diet, right? And now there's people who understand this, right? Like there's pseudomyopia. We talk about this in a lot in other videos and lens induced myopia. Basically myopia starts from you staring at screens too much or books or whatever it is. And then it gets worse because you go to the optometrist and the optometrist makes money off of you selling your glasses, which further exacerbate the myopia problem. So reversing the problem, one, you have to address your lens use, the glasses, and two, you have to address some of your screen habits, possibly. Now, even though people know this, or the people that do know this, still ask me about eye vitamins, because the last thing that a lot of people wanna do is address the demons, right? Like the screen addiction. The screen addiction that we all have. I certainly have it. Most of us have some level of, the screen has more interesting content than real life. Let's face it, that's how it is. But the screen is the issue and your lens use is the issue. And if you wanna improve your eyesight, you need to get more distance vision into your day. You need to get less screen time into your day. You need to improve your habits. You need to learn some stuff. And that's when people email me going, but can I just take this pill? Could I just, just try this pill instead first, maybe? Just for a little while? Like, you, there's nothing you can eat. You can't eat your way to better eyesight. You can't. Nobody ever has, no matter what internet testimonials say, nobody ever has. And these are actually like, these are from the Ukraine. I think these are like iodine pills from the Ukraine. <laughs> so there's that. But 
You can't improve your eyesight with eye vitamins. You probably don't need eye vitamins. If you think you have a vitamin deficiency, go to one of those blood panel testing places, get your blood tested, and find out if you have a deficiency. Because a lot of times, and this is not medical advice, but a lot of times it, it appears that if you have a deficiency, the store-bought regular multivitamins may not contain enough vitamin to address that. It seems like a lot of time there's only enough in there as a maintenance dose. In my vitamin B, vitamin deficiency case, I could have eaten over-the-counter multivitamins for a long time and not replenished my lacking B vitamins. Like I actually had to get serious amounts of B vitamin. And I'm the kind of person who's not a fan of just doing this crazy internet stuff some people get into about just mega dosing, hyper dosing, overdosing on vitamins. Or it's fine, it's water soluble, I don't need to worry about it. I'm not a fan, personally. I'm a big fan of Google Scholar, scholar to google.com. Whenever I see something that sounds tempting and interesting, I go to Google Scholar and I see what do the studies say. Not getting into weird mega doses of stuff. Personally, you do whatever you want to do. But knowing eyesight, this kind of being my topic, having reversed a huge amount of doctors myself and having helped many thousands of other people do the same, I have never heard of one case where somebody popped an eye vitamin pill and reversed a myopia. So that's not going to happen. Does it help? Yeah. I mean, again, like if you have deficiencies, certainly deficiencies are not good. You want to address those. But you don't want to guess that you have deficiencies or look up some internet forum where a bunch of hypochondriacs are like, oh yeah, this was really bad. I would just get a blood panel done and find out if you have deficiencies and then address those specifically with doses that'll help address those deficiencies. That would be my advice. But generally speaking, I don't see how myopia could possibly be addressed by vitamins. So forget the vitamins, right? Address deficiencies and issues in your diet and otherwise in general, but don't really hope for it to improve your eyesight. To improve your eyesight, you have to deal with the causality. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Ah, 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 ah.